Polynesia, Melanesia, and Micronesia are the most well-known geographic divisions and groupings of Oceania and of Pacific Islanders. While many Pacific Islanders have adopted and even embraced these labels, we must not forget that these three categories were originally created and imposed by Europeans and did not reflect how Pacific Islanders traditionally viewed their seas of islands. And as you will soon find out, the three-part division had little to do with geography, but rather was based on superficial and racial grounds. Guahusipulan, and in this video we will explore the origins of the Polynesia, Melanesia, and Micronesia divide. While the creation of the tripartite Pacific Division is usually credited to Frenchman Jules Dumont de Ville in 1832, this was not entirely his own invention. Derville based his threefold division off of a Pacific racial theory that had been in development since the 18th century. According to this racial theory, the Pacific was inhabited by two distinct human races, a yellow race and a black race. The yellow race had light skin complexion and were civilized enough to form nations. The black race had a dark skin complexion and were considered uncivilized and lived in barbarity. Derville linked Polynesia and Micronesia to the more civilized yellow race, while Melanesia was linked to the less civilized black race. This racial theory of the Pacific traces its roots about one century before Deville to a Frenchman named Charles de Brosse, who in 1756 published Histoire de Navigation ou Terres Austre, one of the earliest significant publications on Oceania. In this book, he proposed that the islands in the Pacific Ocean, including the islands we consider today as Melanesia and Micronesia, were to be labeled as Polynesia, derived from Greek meaning many islands. De Brosse's conception of Polynesia encompassed a much greater geographic area than modern Polynesia. More importantly, he was the first scholar to apply the emerging theory of race to Oceania. The Bros speculated that the black-skinned inhabitants of Australia and the interior areas of islands Southeast Asia were parts of an old black race who were originally spread out in island Southeast Asia, but were driven to the interior by lighter-skinned peoples. In line with racial theory at the time, the Bros considered the black-skinned Aboriginal Australians to be the most savage people of all, in contrast to their lighter-skinned neighbors. Thus, in 1756, he established racial stratification, which would exemplify and influence academic thinking about Oceania. Still, at the time, there was not a strong contrast between the Pacific Islanders we consider today as Polynesians, Micronesians, and Melanesians. This would change about two decades later in 1778 when German Johann Reinhold Forster set the foundation for the racial division between Melanesians and Polynesians. While Forster recognized the variety of peoples in the Pacific, he ultimately reduced Pacific Islanders into two racial categories based primarily on skin color, a fair-skinned race and a dark-skinned race. The fair-skinned race of Pacific Islanders inhabited much of modern-day Polynesia and were also united by language and culture. In contrast, the darker-skinned race of Pacific Islanders inhabited parts of modern Melanesia and lacked a common language and culture. Predictably, Forster considered the lighter-skinned islanders to be more civilized and beautiful than the darker-skinned islanders, and he ranked these dark-skinned islanders to be above the even blacker-skinned and more savage Aboriginal Australians. While the term Melanesia did not exist yet, Forster laid the foundation for the racial opposition between Melanesia and Polynesia. The formal label for this racial opposition was finally realized in 1825, when Frenchman Jean-Baptiste Bore de Saint-Vincent invented the word Melanians from the Greek word milas, meaning black, to racially categorize the dark-skinned Pacific Islanders from the lighter-skinned islanders of Polynesia. 
and similar to Forster, Saint Vincent separated the Melanians from the even darker skinned Aboriginal Australians. The term Micronesia first appeared in an 1819 map by Italian Bartolomeo Borghi. Borghi relabeled De Brosse's Polynesia as Polynesia Overo Micronesia, translated as Polynesia or rather Micronesia. Micronesia is derived from Greek meaning small islands. The separation of Micronesia as a distinct category from Polynesia appeared a few years later in 1831 when Frenchman Gregory Louis Domine de Rienzi divided the yellow race or light-skinned Pacific Islanders of Polynesia on the basis of the cultural practice of taboo. De Rienzi categorized the area for yellows who did not culturally practice taboo as Micronesia, while retaining De Brosse's term Polynesia for the yellows who did culturally practice taboo. The very next year in 1832, Jean de Montdeville published his famous tripartite division of Oceania, which firmly linked race with geography. In his paper, he acknowledged his various sources and laid out his ideas of race to form his racialized version of Oceania. So, Derville took the Brosis term Polynesia and applied it to the islands of Oceania. And following Forster and Boyer de saint -Vicent, he believed that Oceania was inhabited by two races, a yellow and a black race, and that they must be categorized separately. Thus, Derville grouped the dark-skinned peoples of Oceania under the term Melanesia. Also like Domine de Rienzi, he divided the yellow race or the light-skinned islanders of Polynesia on the basis of the cultural practice of taboo as well as language, resulting in Micronesia, whose peoples lacked the practice of taboo and the linguistic unity of Polynesia. Derville's invention of Polynesia, Melanesia, and Micronesia was a product of racial theory, and in line with racist thinking, he considered the darker-skinned Melanesians to be uncivilized and ugly compared to the lighter-skinned Micronesians and Polynesians. Within a decade of his publication, Dumont Deville's racialized tripartite division became popular in French cartography, and by the 20th century, Derville's threefold division of Oceania into Polynesia, Melanesia, and Micronesia became the most well-known geographic divisions and groupings of Oceania and of Pacific Islanders, and remains so to this day. If you liked and enjoyed the video, consider supporting me on Patreon so I can continue to produce more Pacific Studies content. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, follow me on social media. And a special seduce Masi to Patreon supporter Puti Un. Seduce Masi for watching Guahusi Pulan and Pulan Has Spoken. Esta.